Hello YouTube, right welcome to my video of Cadwell Park. Now I couldn't think of a better way to start the video than showing you exactly how the video ends and the day ends. So that's me getting towed off track, um, more on that later. But uh, thanks to Joe for filming that and sending over that footage. And at the end of the video you'll know exactly why I'm being towed. Um, so yeah we get that in a bit. Right so Cadwell Park, probably one of the best tracks I've driven in the UK. But as you can tell already, I didn't vlog any footage, so this is going to be voiceover and some clips of me talking from in the car. But I had an awesome day, really hot, really, really hot, it's about 30 degrees, so the intercooler got a really good test. Um, much like when I was at Castle Coombe and I had problems recently, this was totally different. The intercooler worked amazing. I know a lot of people were questioning how good would it be um, hindering coolant temps etc but absolutely perfect stayed four bars only time I went to five bars I was running aircon and that was my fault ran aircon off and temps were perfect so this is the first bit of footage I've got I'm on the Yokohama ADOA and the car's starting to feel good been working through some of the shock absorber settings um, I've kind of found around about 18 clicks uh, on the front working perfectly still playing around with the rears probably up to about 20 clicks i think a year um, the reason i'm showing this clip as we go down the start straight uh, in a moment coming into coppice there's uh, uh, an oil spin at least i think it's oil um, I, I notice a big streak going up the track uh, some kind of fluid but fortunately i spotted it before i commit to the corners Like I just see it now, you'll see it shining down the middle of the track. Have a little wobble as we go over it. Uh, session's already been uh, red flagged at this point. I think the cars have already spotted it. And I think it later turned out to be a BMW actually. I saw parked up later in the grass. I will say hello to Mr. Scott Adcock who's coming in for a passenger lap with me and this will be straight after that oil spill. I put one of these on my seatbelt. Ah, so right. It like clamps and tights. So it's almost like a um, CG lock thing, but yeah. a cheap version. Like it was like six quid off eBay. But I got to breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> so it does, does help. I like the idea of the harnesses, but my God, they're a bit of a ball, like, aren't they? Yeah. To get in and out. This is getting straight into the lap now, straight coming out of the pits. The thing is, Andy, because you can watch everything coming yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I mentioned, yeah, that high pressure monitor system works brilliantly. so I could barely see anything. It will come through for a, a second go and I will see how, how bad the dust is on this lap. That would felt really bad at the time. Uh, the Caterham's in front, pay attention to one of them. I've got a clip coming up in a moment where one has a bit of an off. just hear the slightest tap of the arm core from him. Right, so I'm showing these pictures now. I've swapped tyres. I'm onto the uh, Trofeo R's with the big flabby sidewalls. You see from the next picture, they're now the prettiest looking wheels or tyres, but the grip was good. But they did bring about some problems. They did have some pretty severe arch rub as you'll hear in the next clip. And joining me for this ride is Jack. Take it easy for a little bit. 
bit just to get the tyres up the tank. second I pop in give it all a check over Jack jumps out and then I put the shocks up to full stiff on the rear to try and get it to be a bit firmer still scrubbing a little bit but not as bad car has a little wobble because it's the uh, first time out on the full stiff rear suspension the tires haven't fully warmed up Another wobbly bit just because I'm not driving that well. Over push that corner. I'm starting to get a bit more confidence in tyres now, and I've got to say at this moment now the grip is feeling really good. But whoopsie, another little wobble. And to be honest, I have to admit I was running in sport mode, so the um, ESC was on, and the way he was grabbing the car when the back was sliding wasn't feeling that good. Right, this little clip is for Adam. Adam had a little wobble around there, I know he watches my videos, so I thought I'd throw that in just for you, Adam. Uh, thanks for making me feel so welcome on the day as well. Nice to meet you. Right, so now I've, uh, I'm out still on the Pirelli tyres and I'm looking for someone to have a little battle with really, so it doesn't take long. Dean and his ST200 passes, now Dean's Revo Stage 2, uh, pretty much similar spec cars, so I thought well I'll try and see if I can keep up with him. So I'll let this uh, lap play out without me talking. were so long on these wheels as well the tires are so big I only needed third down there where on the other tires I needed fourth really changed the gear into the car massively I did say I wouldn't talk for this lap but I can't shut my mouth for long brakes were amazing on the endless brake pads too it was my first real test and they were phenomenal never faded once all day Right, so that was that. That was probably the quickest lap I think I had of the day looking for my footage. Lap time it didn't work, so I haven't really got any references. I think that one was about a 1.49. Could have gone a bit quicker if I'd got at the start of the lap a little bit earlier. But I'm going to forward this now because the plan was, you yeah, I was thinking, right, Dean's got a GoPro in his car behind. I thought, get through some tra traffic and then he can get some footage uh, following me. Now, this is leading up to where I had problems, where you saw from the earlier clip, where I was getting towed off the track. So, I'll give, tell you briefly before we get to the area what happened. Uh, I went over the curb a bit too hard. The car thought I'd been in a crash, so I went into crash mode. So, it cut all power. Um, so, that'll be coming up in the gooseneck corner, I think it's called, which will just be in a minute. So, in my mind now, I'm thinking Dean's caught me up. I think he's behind me here. 
the road. We start going for it now and get a good bit of video footage. But it all goes wrong coming into this corner. So you can see the bang there, all power's gone. Now I'm thinking it's intercooler after what happened to Casco, so I'm spraying it. And then I realise it's trying to it's trying to call emergency services. So that's when I realised what's actually happened. So I didn't think the car had lost power completely. I thought I'm in some kind of limp mode right here. Fortunately, I made it to the entry of the pits. I think now, though, they were looking into a red flag in the session. So I knew now I needed to disconnect the battery, really, to do a reset. But in a minute, I thought, well, I'll try and restart to see if we can get it going again. Because I don't really want to be stuck here right at the entry to the pit. So it starts. I have no idea why Classic FM comes on. Because I don't listen to that, I promise you. My crash detector went off. Alright, so we get going. I think, right, I can get up to the pits now, but boom, just goes flat and dead, stops again. I know I've got a couple of cars behind me, Duh. so I'm feeling a little bit stressed now, thinking a few kid cars stuck behind me and some other cars backing up the pits. I went over the curb and the car, the car thinks I've been in a crash. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll get recovery to you straight away. Okay, I got it started. Yeah, no. Yeah, can I have recovery, please, on the slip road, Sly? Halfway up. Yeah, no. Okay, I'll get recovery to you straight away. Okay, I'll get recovery to you straight away. Okay, I'll get recovery to you straight away. So, as we're getting towed out now, I think, no, I got the shame of getting towed past everyone. See Tom. Coming down the distance, he was going to uh, help me out, I think. He <laughs> tried to. I was front, Dean was tight behind me, and I'm trying to like stop it ringing the police. And then could turn the engine off. Yeah, he just kept. I managed to reach. Back me off and back on the restart. Oh, you were coming down with tools yeah, me? Yeah. I told him that. I said, if you give me a 10 mil, and uh, I think they just wanted me towed out. Yeah. Okay, Callum Stevenson last year. Oh, is there any way to stop it happening? Uh, turn the off, I think. Mine's turned off, and, uh, it hasn't happened. So that was it then, just a shame of getting towed back in. I feel no shame. Get a picture. Saving on fuel. Well. This has gone all day, boys. <laughs> right, so we have a Tom's fiddling movie battery underneath. Back on, yeah. on it, he's done a disconnect, so yeah, let's see if it starts. Fired back up, classic <laughs> FM again. <laughs> When I got it started then, Classic FM came on. <laughs> Just like when I was down in the pits, why did Classic FM come on? I have no idea. But So that was it. That was the end of my day. Uh, end of the video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>